question is not very difficult, but it may be difficult to find the solution. While solving your question, let's remember that X and Y are real numbers. We square both sides of the first equation. Guessing this is perhaps the key to the problem. We expand the parentheses by using perfect square identity. x squared times y squared can be written as xy squared. And we put 3 instead of x times y. As a result, x to the 4th power plus y to the 4th power equals 99. Another equation to use while solving the question. To progress through the question, we need to find the square of the sum of x squared and y squared, and here we expand the parentheses. And again, we can replace x squared times y squared with xy squared. We write 3 instead of xy squared. So now we need to find the square roots of both sides of the equation. We get the sum of x squared and y squared as plus or minus square root of 117. But let's think about it one more time. The sum of two squares cannot be a negative number here, because x and y are real numbers. The correct number here is positive square root of 117. We can write square root of 117 as 3 times square root of 13. The question was the value of x plus y, so we need to find the square of the sum of x and y. We write the value 3 times square root of 13 instead of x squared plus y squared. The square of the sum of x and y is 3 times square root of 13 plus 6. find our result. I hope you enjoyed this question and solution. If you solved it with another method, please share it in the comments. Please follow my channel Math Doctor on YouTube. See you!